Hello everybody, in this episode I'm going to show you a popular mod to install, which is the not enough item. So first you need to run your Minecraft, because Forge will need the 1.7.10 files for not enough items. Well, I'm installing this for the 1.7.10, I think there's a 1.8 version by now, but uh, I'm going with the custom one like I'm doing stuff in order Might as well do uh, stuff in order. okay so if you haven't installed any mods before uh, you'll see 1.8.1 but if you want a 1.71 right go add a profile go to the used version click on that and then select 1.7.10 save profile um, once 1.8 come out I'm gonna do some tutorials on 1.8 but you'll see why I don't do tutorials on 1.8 later so you press play to load up all the files needed uh, in the Minecraft so that Forge can use it to install the actual Forge stuff. You would need Forge to install the mods. Uh, I'm using Mozilla, you may use Google Chrome. I'm not sure about Apple products. I'm, I can't afford Mac so I might as well do it on a Windows. I'm using Windows 8 so it should be simple, very simple and uh, it should work on Windows 7 also. Also at the end of the video, I'm going to show you on how uh, to use the mod, right? Because it's not an item, it shows you like the instructions, but you'll see all in the, the at the end of the video, you want to stay tuned for it. It's like, it's like a little mod showcase. And I have two websites for you guys, so I see 1.7.10 is already loaded, we can close it. That's because we have all the file downloaded. Now we go to Forge. Now here's a Forge, all the Forge that is, you can then download. Uh, the latest one will be 1.7.10. I see there's no 1.8.1, right? The one that we want, uh, you the latest one, right? Minecraft is 1.8.1, but there's no version for it. Maybe because they're working on the 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 Forge stuff, like the modding API. That, that's what I heard before. So we're going to stick to 1.7.10. Now you want to install the this one recommended. Uh, drag your the mouse and click the installer button. If you click it, a ad fly page will pop up and you uh, click the, the skip ad. I won't show you this part just because ad fly is a threat to YouTubers. Like I've seen the channel being taken down just because they showed an ad fly. So click on that. I'm going to leave this link though. Forge, go to this page, uh, this thing. So Forge, go to this, this link to uh, click the installer. Now the re version may change, but usually the recommended or the stable one, you see the latest, which means the, the newest version that it is, but it's kind of unstable, which means it won't support all the mods, like your Minecraft might crash, so go with the recommended, because that will guarantee that your uh, Minecraft doesn't crash. So once you download it, you should get this thing, the Forge 1.7.10, 2 now. The, your browser may say, oh no, or your, your security may say, oh no, this file is bad. The virus delete maybe like that but that's the only way I can install it just because it's a Java right all Java affects your computer so if you want to take the risk and go ahead like um, there are many tutorials out there saying that mod to install mods you need forge so any other way you may move on to another tutorial I guess all right to open it you double click it if a window like this does not pop up which means you, do, you did it wrong which means you open it like this, this will happen. Maybe to you guys, uh, some of you may open like this. No, you don't want this. This one, it's the wrong way. It's the WinRAR, you want to open as Java. So you right click, open with Java. That's how you open the, the window. Now you see the install client, click OK. And then you wait until Forge takes the 1.7.10 files from the Minecraft and it, it just like downloads or convert it into Forge. Now it says you successfully installed Forge 1. Point or 10.3 that version. Click OK. You may now run Minecraft. And uh, in your profile, you see it's 1.7.10. But you go to your profile again, click that down arrow, click Forge. You can see it says Forge that version, Minecraft 1.7.10, Forge that thing. And then you press play. And then now you have Forge. Now you can install mods. Now to check your mods folder, you may see the famous mods folder. Uh, you, what is it? You hold your Windows key, and then press R, and you see this little run thing. If it says like after that, I'll and press Enter. You'll be brought to your Minecraft page. So that's one way to do it. Another way is go drag your mouse all the way to the top right of the screen. Right, you see top right of the screen, and then wait till like a magnifying glass pops up. Oh no, it doesn't pop up. Usually it pops up, and then in your your bar thing, you just type in like percent app data roaming percentage, and then press Enter. Um, usually, I, I install like an update and look, the, the my my Windows uh, 
the option does not open. Like this is a Windows update, but to get access to that, you can press the Windows key and you'll be brought up to the start page. And here's your search. And you type in app data roaming. App data percentage and press enter. And you'll be brought up to this page. You look app data roaming and you press your dot Minecraft, right? And you'll see there's a mods folder, which is pretty nice. All right, now you can't install mods with your micro open, sadly, so you have to close it. Now you need not enough items. All right, so I went to, like there's a lot of websites out there that you can get the mod. There's the, the actual forums, which actually supports the mod if you want. Like there's different ones, like this Minecraft mine does not support, well it does support by linking the actual forums to it, but it doesn't direct the download to it. Like uh, this website has its own personal download, so they're benefiting from it. But if you go to their, the actual Minecraft forum, here's the downloads, right? You can download any mods here. So downloads, what that bring me? Look, it has a different version. Like where, it says Minecraft 1.8, but you don't have Forge. You go 1.7, which one do I install? So this, you could be very confused. I'm very confused by my Minecraft forum. So I'll go to a simplified uh, website, which is like the Minecraft now. I'll add this to the description also, if you want to go on this path. So you got the nine Minecraft nine, and we also have the actual forum. So I'll link that too. So here's the Minecraft forums. So we're gonna add that quickly. So all this link will be in the description below. Minecraft forum. Alrighty, so we'll go to this part. Okay, so this is the nine Minecraft nine. I had some good experience with this one. So how to install? You go to one point seven point ten. It says you'll need the chicken core also. So you need to open that for another tab. So it's usually the mouse click. If you want to open to another tab, you can see code chicken core is already loading. So you want the 1.7, yeah, 1.8 is already out. I don't know how to install it, but we'll download from one server. Let's click this thing, download. And then you see there's like different ads on it. So be careful, they may download some viruses. So be careful on downloading stuff. You can close some, look, that was a advertisement. So <laughs> close it as soon as you can, or, or else it's gonna cause some malware and slow down your computer. Now here's my, okay, press the download, the blue download. There we go. It says not enough item jar. Okay, save profile. And you see over here, this is my downloads for Mozilla. The downloads for Google Chrome will be in the bottom left. If they haven't changed it, if you ha don't find it, then it should probably be in downloads and you find it there somewhere. Like right there, my, my stuff is already there. So we can close this, the not enough items. We need to go chicken core, right? Go chicken core 1.7 and more points. Eight. So here's the 1.7.10 download from server one. Let's click that. It usually adds, like people put ads just because they earn money from it, right? And then the mod owner does not get the money. That's the only downside to it. Okay, seems like this one's too slow, just close it. Uh, go to server two. Uh, so there's, there's like different server, there we go. So click download, close the ad. Oh no, I actually close the actual thing. Click download. Download the blue download. If you always aim for the blue download, there's like different downloads on the sides. Like it says, play free. Don't click that. Don't click this. Don't click that. That's like advertisement that just gets the money or causes malware to your computer. So we can close that. And uh, yeah, we can close this website. As soon as you're done, just close the website to prevent any damages to your computer. All right, so here's my downloads. Wait, where was the. What did I install it? Yeah, code chicken car. Oh. All right, I guess I'll have to do, yeah, there we go. We got two jars code, chicken core, not enough items. Now we go to your mods folder, right? You, you previously open right here. See, look, there's the my dot Minecraft and we got the mods and then here's the mods folder. All right, now we'll drag these two into the mods folder and that's all you need to do. Now you run your Minecraft all right, and then you get to the screen, you press play, right? Re make sure that Minecraft 1.7.10, it says Forge also. And make sure your profile is Forge, that's how you do it. Now, if you want to install more mods to this thing, make sure they're compatible. Uh, I know 1.7, other version does not run properly. Like if you install a 1.8 mod, you may crash your Minecraft. So be careful about that. All right, and now we're done. Now we can press single player, create new world. Uh, I guess to do that. Yeah, let's create a new world. Let's see what this mod's really about. Not enough items. Like, not enough items is a very useful mod. It tells you how to craft stuff if you have no idea how to craft it, so you, you don't have to look it up. All right, let's wait until this world to load. 
Okay, so you press E. There's the option at the bottom left of the screen. Click that. Click on World. Click on Highlight uh, Shown Tooltips. Hidden. Click it Shown. Now you have the actual uh, block identifier. That's a really useful tool. And you press Escape. Escape again. Escape. And then you see if you hover over uh, blocks, it'll tell you what kind of block it is. And it's like a little bit of glitch because it shows the seed also. It doesn't identify the, the, uh, the sheep just because they're animals. They're not blocks. And you see there's like grass, grass block. It doesn't show the... Oh, it shows the flower? It does show the flower. So if you're... you This works for mod packs also. So if you don't know what a, a block is, you can just hover your cursor over it and it'll tell you it. Do you tell the, the recipe. Let's see. If you go to... Uh, press E again. Options. Is it commands? Nope. Back. Key bindings? Nope. Back. Inventory? Yeah, here's cheat mode. Cheat mode, which means you, you can spawn stuff in. Recipe mode, which means it tells you the recipe. And then, I don't know what utility is, but maybe some guy in the comment will say it. But recipe mode, go back to it. Back, and then you can see how to craft it. So if you don't know how to craft orange wool, you click it or it. And you see, you need orange dye and orange wool. So. If you click on orange dye, click it, it tells you how to craft it. So in the craft it, you need these two dyes, and if you don't know how to get this, you click it. You keep on clicking until it says, if it's nothing, which means you need to get, uh, get it naturally. And it's a very useful tool, like, there's all these complex uh, recipes that if you don't know how to craft it, it's there for you. So that's like, basically it. That's basically not enough items. Like, it's a very useful tool, like, for beginners. So that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.